Hi, in this short video, I'm going to introduce the product Power Replay. Here's what you can expect from this video to understand the concept of what Power Replay and to learn how it works. Let's get started. Power Replay helps users to get the gate level simulation result earlier so users can get the power numbers earlier which in turn reduces the time to market. This flow diagram shows how it works to get a gate level simulation result. It basically adopts RTL FSDB as stimulus and apply it to the gate level replacing. No test bench is needed as Power Replay will do that for you. You can also specify your own design scope and the time range. It is not necessary to always start from time zero, which is time consuming. As we use RTL FSDB as stimulus to replay the gate level. The first thing is to get a mapping from gate to RTL. It can be done by PowerRep-Map, which will take the gate level design, RTL design or RTL FSDB, and SVF files from DC to generate the mapping. Second, we need to extract the gate level design for the target scope you are going to replay and take the mapping from the first step to generate the test bench. And it can be done by PowerRep extract. Third, just like what VCS does, the replace sim has two steps compile and run with the specified time range in the configuration file. After replay, you can expand in FSDB, VCD, or save, which can be input to Prime Power to do power analysis. Alright, let's proceed to the demo so that you can get some idea of how it works. The demo case can be reached under the directory demo of your Power Replay package. There are Mac and Bitcoin. Today I'm going to use Mac to demonstrate. Let's go into the subdirectory demo now UPF. You can find all the instructions in either make file or the readme file. On the right hand side, this is the make file for your reference. In replay, we need to first generate a mapping, which needs both RTL and the gate level information. On RTL side, it can be RTL design or RTL FSDB. Either one is fine. And on the gate level side, it has to be the gate level design. So if the KDB is not ready yet, you gotta do run KDB to generate the KDB before running PowerRep map. And besides KDB, the target scope and the SVF files from DC have to be specified as well. Uh, since here I pre compiled the KDB, so let's go ahead to uh, PowerRep map to generate the mapping. And after that, you can expect a mapping file called uh, powerrep underscore map dot list dot gz generated in your working directory. So for uh, the next step extraction, except the gate level design, uh, all the information are in uh, your configuration file. Let me open the configuration file here under files API config. So all the information like RTL uh, FSDB, your, which is your source FSDB, the mapping file, your, your target scope, and the time range to be a replay, and, and both compile and run script uh, from, for replay and the SDF files. All these information are in the configuration file. So let's do um, power and extract. After that, you can see um, the test bench and the uh, extracted design in power app replay log. 
the test bench will be in wi-test.sv and the extracted design, the DOT, will be in wi-design.v. Once the test bench and the extracted design are both done, uh, we can go ahead and to run compile and sim. Um, we actually kick off VCS compile and VCS simulation under the hood for these two stages. So let's do powerrep compile. This is actually the same as VCS compile uh, to generate the simv binary and the simv.dider directory. Once it's done, uh, let's do powerrep sim. This is to uh, run the real sim, the replay, and generate uh, the replay result, wi result.fsdb, which we can find in the powerrep replay directory. Right here. We have introduced the flow of Power Replay and also demonstrated how it works with our demo case. I hope this video helps you to understand the product Power Replay. Thanks for watching.